Understanding the Takeoff Speed of a Plane Have you ever wondered what allows a massive airplane to lift off the ground and soar through the skies? The answer is the combination of speed, power, and aerodynamics. One crucial factor that determines whether a plane can take off or not is its takeoff speed. So, how do planes achieve the necessary speed to take off? In this video, we will dive into the science behind the takeoff speed of an airplane and explore how pilots and engineers work to ensure safe takeoffs. The takeoff speed of a plane is the minimum speed required for an aircraft to lift off the ground and maintain flight. Factors that determine this speed include the aircraft type, weight, wing area, atmospheric conditions, and runway length. Planes with larger wings and engines require higher takeoff speeds to generate enough lift and thrust to take off. The weight of the aircraft also plays a critical role, as heavier planes need more speed to overcome the force of gravity and take off. To calculate the takeoff speed, pilots and engineers use a formula that takes into account the plane's weight, runway length, and temperature. This formula is known as V1 or decision speed, the speed at which the pilot must decide whether to continue the takeoff or stop due to an emergency. V1 is critical for safe takeoffs, and pilots must undergo rigorous training to ensure they can make the right decisions in the event of a problem during takeoff. One way to reduce the takeoff speed of a plane is by using flaps and slats, which increase the wing's surface area and allow it to generate more lift at lower speeds. When the flaps and slats are extended, the aircraft's drag also increases, making it easier to slow down during landing. Pilots will also adjust the angle of the wing, known as the angle of attack, to maximize lift during takeoff. Runway length is another crucial factor in determining the takeoff speed of an aircraft. Longer runways allow planes to reach higher speeds and generate more lift before they leave the ground. Some of the longest runways in the world can be found in countries like the UAE, China, and the US. At Dubai International Airport, the runway is over 14,000 feet long, giving planes enough space to reach high takeoff speeds. To ensure safe takeoffs, pilots will also consider atmospheric conditions, such as air density, temperature, and wind speed. Higher temperatures and altitudes reduce the air density, making it harder for planes to generate lift. Pilots may need to adjust the takeoff speed or reduce the aircraft's weight to account for these factors. In summary, the takeoff speed of a plane is a critical factor in ensuring safe and successful flights. Pilots and engineers must work together to calculate the ideal takeoff speed for each aircraft based on its weight, runway length, and atmospheric conditions. By using techniques such as flaps, slats, and adjusting the wing's angle of attack, planes can generate more lift at lower speeds, reducing the takeoff distance. A combination of careful planning, precise calculations, and skilled piloting is necessary to achieve a successful takeoff at the optimal speed.